Welcome back to another video and this video is sponsored by Elemental Wood and this guy does these amazing slabs from trees that have fallen down or that need to be cutting with permission it's not like he just goes and cuts grand trees like this out of nowhere and we got these slabs from him this this slab is three and a half years or here and it's kind of the centerpiece of our house everyone that comes in is amazed of the size of this and the beauty of this tree and we would like to give him some support back since he's providing us with this wood uh, so make sure you check out his instagram and support him on his social media just watch his videos like his posts and support him in that way it's the least we can do for having such an amazing wood and today we're gonna go to his place and look at more of his wood because we need more counters and we're gonna get two slabs for our project. So let's get going, get the van and get to his place. the next day we are all home all the wood is here with us and uh, as you saw with the opportunity of getting these big ones we also went and picked up loads of lumber we found this place that sells lumber very cheap and uh, it's not like the highest quality lumber in a sense of it's a wood with a few knots and few problems so not highest grade but it's perfectly fine for what we need it and it's gonna work more than enough and uh, we also got this one on top of it, we kind of just got an insane deal. We got this, pretty much all this middle wood we got for 200 euros. So I think we got a really good deal also on the wood. So that's what we need to unload first. And then we're gonna unload these ones probably all the way in the barn. Um, probably, we could also bring them through here, but I think we could also uh, just drive it from the front. So let's start unloading this ones. but before we do that we need to cut these small little slices that we can put between the lumber that we can let them dry much better so let's go cut those first
as we were cutting these small woods, uh, the saw finally gave up after four years of hard work. The saw said goodbye and run its last breath and it's what? done. What you we, smelled, we smell the burning smell of engine and it no longer turns on, the button don't work. Um, the way you're saying done. it, the way you're saying it makes me really sad. <laughs> we're gonna take the blade off or we're just gonna leave it as a memorial, I guess, as a, yeah. as a history of this saw. What does that make me sad? Because like that's how Both we start. Both of our starting Jasper saws are broken. <laughs> oh, our startup kit, kit, our startup saws are. Probably it was time done. to upgrade to a bigger one because this does not fulfill our needs to the max because it cannot cut that big of a wood. So <sighs> sad. it happens. We did put it through quite a lot of abuse. Okay, I hope we cut enough. We're well, gonna that's cut not, these in half probably. Yeah, well. that's not what we cut. We cut all of this one. So, so. we cut actually. Where's the last piece? We're about to cut the last one. The last one. So we would have six times five meters. Yeah. So quite a lot of meters of wood. I think it's gonna be enough. But that yeah. is sad. Bye bye, saw. So it's turning out much harder challenge than we expected. We don't want to put them in, of course, to stack it more. We want to get all that wood here. But we also don't want to pile things here because then we're bothering our work here to build this whole extension. Yeah, we were about to until David realized that we cannot do anything. We, we cannot, cannot screw. unscrew it. We cannot uh, take this wood off to oil it to do further work. And then also this ground in here needs to be kind of straightened. But I currently don't have my small machine. Our big tractor was failing to do it. So we kind of have to put them out here. And then I guess bring them in, we're just gonna have to go around and in. It's gonna be maybe a bit of work, or we do them more further up there. Okay, we'll see. You'll see where they'll go. Hoppity! Yummy, yummy goodies! What are you all chilling inside? Is it that hot mm -hmm. outside? It's not that hot. Oh, there's another nest! So we have unloaded all of it. It's a nice beautiful pile. It took a lot of time, but the ones that are left will take the most power because this ones, you know, they're considerably light. Those are the big boys. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good now that we've, you know, first time ever we have done the where we put the wood between. Most of the times we are too much in a rush. We just throw it on a pile and we'll do it one day and we never do it. But this time we did it properly, even though this is the wood that's going to get most quickly used. We're going to quickly get it on and used. So probably this is not going to stay too long, but it's better just to dry a bit more for a few days, a few weeks. So yeah, let's get on with the big boys. That's quite of a professional looking pile. That's how they have them there as well. Uh, 
you gotta steer it, you gotta steer it. Yep. Actually, it works surprisingly well. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Yeah, I'll it. Either way, though. A bit though. Amazing, now the big boy. But who needs gym, right? Here is the two big planks we got and uh, we actually were wrong about what type of tree we have this is the same one as our counter not the same exact tree but the same type of tree and we thought we have elm but it turns out this is ash so we have ash tree and it's really hard wood the reason we got the same one is because this is gonna go for the sink area we currently have that epoxy counter we made I'm not a big fan of it, I kind of ruined it even further and we want to match it with the middle counter so we're going to be putting this one and it has the same bark and the same exact pattern so it's going to match really well and this one we checked the dryness with the little meter and this is 12% so this is ready for working and then the other side we got um, a giant oak and the heaviness of this, this one is heavy but this one is even heavier because oak is really heavy and dense wood and this thing is on 14% so it's not as dry but oak dries really slowly and this has already been drying for like 3 years so it takes really long time for a wood like this to be dried out fully so this one's gonna go in the storage room it's gonna be there for the counter where the sink goes and also it's gonna be a desk there with a computer so our office computer so that's where that will go and also he gifted us this thing which we saw finished product uh, that's when I filmed it and this thing is an oak beam so like our beams I'm not sure if they're oak I don't think so I think they are just pine or fir I'm not sure but this is oak beam so it comes out really nice and this thing's been sitting on the ground so it has this rot around so it's been many years sitting on the ground from a fallen down barn so once it's finished it looks really nice really hard pretty much shiny like a glass almost once it's really nicely done so he gifted us that to make into something like a lamp or something so we'll see what we do with that but thanks again to him for providing us these big planks because without these planks uh, I don't know I would not like the modern counters and it's really hard to get these nowadays mostly they go for really high-end tables and really high-end projects that's what he provides as well he's really doing insane amount of craftsmanship so if you're in Europe you can even contact him and he could probably provide you with a nice dining table because these these were pretty small pieces compared to what he had he had some really wide pieces we just took these pieces because they're perfect for counters but he also does a furniture so you can contact him for furniture and uh, probably in Europe the shipping can be arranged and for such a piece it would be probably worth it so make sure you check out the Instagram we're gonna be linking it down below and uh, it's kind of a little shout out we can do with our influence to you guys so yeah that's pretty much it with this video, hope you enjoyed, we're gonna see you next time, hopefully soon-ish we're gonna be starting to install these, currently we're still working on the big barn. So make sure to subscribe so you can see the other side, because that is not the side we're gonna be using, we just cannot flip it, so. Bye bye. See you next time.